evening. Hundreds of homes are still without power after torrential rain caused flash flooding in parts of Scotland. Communities across Perthshire have been hardest hit. In Ailith, firefighters evacuated scores of people from their homes and motorists had to be rescued from their vehicles. Elsewhere, heavy rain forced the suspension of play at the Open Championship in St Andrews. Tonight, flood alerts remain in place. Our reporter Craig Miller has spent the day in Ailith. Yes, anyone arriving here in Ailith this morning could have been forgiven for thinking that they were in the middle of a set of a Hollywood disaster movie. There was a raging tidal wave coming down the main street here. People were being trapped in their homes, people rescued from their homes, cars were being washed away. But it was all too real and it was all happening at the height of a so-called Scottish summer. The people of Ailith woke up this morning to a bad dream. The burn which runs through the town, swollen by torrential rain, broke its banks in devastating fashion. What then happened was effectively a flash flood with a torrent raging through the main street. Firefighters obviously had to deal with a huge number of potential evacuations from properties that were affected in the area. Um, and there were circa 100 properties that, that were affected. The power of the water was such that cars were pushed up on top of each other, like a toy collection. Boats were deployed to rescue people from their homes. It's like a scene from a movie when you see um, cars actually floating down a road that you normally walk down to get to the shops and um, piling up. There was also logs floating down the, the road as well, debris, rubbish and um, I think people were just shocked at what they'd seen because in all the time I've been in Ailith I've never seen anything like this at all. This is Andy Pollock's house. It's adjacent to the Ailith burn. He and his wife had to evacuate their children as water came in. They took them to a safe place and then returned. They came back and we were confronted with about a foot of water. Uh, in fact, at the house next door, it was actually halfway up the back door. Since then, the, the wall in the gardens completely collapsed and, well, you can sort of see for yourself where we are now. Your house is ruined? Uh, more or less, aye, yeah. Steve Both's bakery shop was also turned upside down by the power of the water. A counter, which can normally only be moved by five or six people, was simply tossed over. This all came about within about 10, 15 minutes. I tried to barricade the door with a couple of my baking trays. Uh, soon become a part and that wasn't going to work. Uh, and it was a case of getting out. Uh, and it was literally, it was up to my knees. Deputy First Minister John Swinney came to Ailith this afternoon to inspect the aftermath of the mayhem. There's been a, a huge effort put in place by Perth and Kinross Council, by the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service and Police Scotland to make sure that everybody is safe and uh, thankfully everybody uh, is safe as a consequence of this incident. But a number of people have had you know, very, very nasty experience uh, where the weather has become so difficult to handle in such a short space and time. Elsewhere in Persia, the floods caused considerable disruption. Roads were blocked and vehicles had to proceed with caution. The rescue services were fighting a major battle against the forces of nature, something not quite expected in the height of summer. What happens now, Craig? Well, obviously there will be a major clear-up or uh, clear-up operation. This is going to cost Ailith hundreds of thousands of pounds, if not more. Now many homes and businesses tonight are still without power but what many local people are saying is that the situation was made worse by the large amounts of wood and tree debris in the burn which gave the water only one place to go and that that was over the side and so tonight there are major efforts being made to clear bridges clear the debris because uh, there is more rain coming tonight that will affect this part of the world and uh, other parts of Scotland as well uh, people and the authorities are remaining vigilant. Back to you. Craig, thank you.